Hello my gaming friends, thanks so much for stopping by and for your interest in wanting to watch another video. This is Alan uh, with Hernandez Elite Gaming. How do I utilize the NVIDIA GeForce application to optimize the game settings automatically and then if need be, which you'll see me do, how do I also make a small change or two manually? So. If you have the Dell 15 7000 laptop, this is gonna teach you or give you some insight as to what you need to do to your computer. And for some of you that are looking for a laptop and you're off the fence between a $3,000 laptop versus a $1,000 laptop, if you are that gamer that's looking for one, what I'm gonna to do to this one might give you the answer you need to say, I'm gonna get this one, I don't need to spend this much, but if you already have it, what do you need to do to optimize it to help you improve your gameplay? With that said, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new for upcoming videos. Also, post questions as far as comments goes below the video if you're watching it on my website or on the channel so I can engage with you with the answers that you might need along the way, all right? So, let's go ahead and jump right in. First things first, when it comes to optimizing uh, your Dell 15 7000 laptop is that when you're playing games, I don't ever recommend that you have it without the cable plugged in. Without the power cable, that battery is gonna die quickly. And in addition to that, it's not going to perform at its best because it's losing resources while also trying to pull resources. It can't keep up. Another thing that I recommend you do is install the NVIDIA GeForce application. And if you don't have it, go to the NVIDIA.com website and download the NVIDIA uh, GeForce Experience application. You'll see it on the top when you go to download drivers. Now, something that you'll notice, especially in my example, if you just configure the drive, if you just install the games on that drive, NVIDIA is not gonna recognize the game, its hardware, its requirement, and what it recommends to optimize it. As you notice here, I don't have the option to optimize the game. None of these games that we're gonna test have the option because the first thing that I need to do and you're gonna need to do is open the game, make a small change or two to the settings, get out of the game and go back in it, right? But before you go back into the game, we're going to open the NVIDIA application because now NVIDIA has detected the game, what it requires to run at its best. And then we'll go ahead and optimize each of the games and we'll go back in. So we're gonna do one together because I have four of them to do. I'm not gonna spend 20 minutes doing each of them. I'm gonna show you one really quick and then I'll come back to the application and I'm gonna do that to all my games. I'll pause the video there of course and then I'll continue on as I'm testing each of them so that you can see the additional changes that we can make after. Any game you are into, the same idea applies. I'm just gonna show you the top four, the top three that I use that are popular, right? Um, so that you can play it if you have this laptop or if you're looking to get it. So as you can see right here, I'm gonna open the game. I'm just gonna go into the settings, video. I'm just gonna make a small change, nothing significant, just something for now. I'm gonna set it to high, uh, apply my settings, all right, and then I'm gonna get out of the game. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my NVIDIA GeForce application. And by the way, guys, to be able to utilize this application, you need to create a free account, log in, and once you do, you have options to, you know, the optimization side of it, the drivers, all that good stuff. Now, watch this. If I open that game, NVIDIA automatically optimized the game. Most of the time, it's gonna know, it's gonna do it for you. Once you've got them all with that green check mark, now we're gonna go into our next step, which is we're gonna run each of the games very quickly, just load it, 
open up a gameplay, and then we're going to see how it runs, how it performs with the automatic optimization, and then which changes we can make from that point to where we can say, looks good, runs good, leave it. Behind me here, I have the uh, NZXT Gaming Desktop PC case. I'm going to actually be using this for a new build that I'm going to be making in the next week or so, maybe within the next 30 days. So make sure to subscribe. If you're looking into building a desktop, this is going to be a video you want to see. Let's go ahead and choose play, multiplayer. I'm going to do team deathmatch, hit play, let it load. So far, so good. It's optimized. Remember, right now, the game is already optimized. And some things that I'm going to look for is when I'm playing the game, is it smooth or is it laggy? Is it slow? Is it hesitant? Right? When I'm switching between characters or maps or loadouts, is it fast or is it hesitant? And so on. So keep those things in mind. And then we're going to determine if we, meet, if we need to make a change or not. All right, connect it pretty quickly. With me, which I recommend, is the uh, Logitech G703 Gaming Wireless RGB Mouse. This is the most accurate, most comfortable, durable, perfect for gaming mouse that I've had in a long time. Definitely recommend it. Uh, you can get this for less than a hundred depending on where you get it from I'm gonna find a deal for you if you're looking for uh, a new mouse or upgrading what you have the mouse is your is your partner Especially so when you're gaming so I'm gonna put this on the video description if you're looking for one definitely get the G703 It loaded pretty quickly right so far so good. Let's go ahead and deploy here small Small delay on that actual load up, but not bad. Let's go ahead and do a quick gameplay here. This this feels pretty smooth. Look at this. Wow. I can already tell you right now, look, we have a full house. That's another thing to also keep in mind, whether or not there's a lot of players in the game or whether or not there's two. Right now, we're almost full, meaning that this is pretty packed with uh, connections, players, movements, graphics, effects, and it's running pretty, pretty smooth. Look at it. All right, I'm playing. So far, so good, looks pretty smooth. Oh, got me from the back. <laughs> so now, watch this. We're going to also tell this loading process here from this moment. So far, so good. Very straight, very fast. Loaded really smoothly. No problems there. I think so far, the optimization settings on Battlefield 5 is okay. Even though I do notice a hesitation, second or two delay on some areas. More so during load up, during deploy, but also during uh, when, when enemies come, you know, when it gets loaded with people, right where you're at, it hesitates just a bit. Not much, just a bit. And I'll tell you by experience, having the SSD versus the mechanical drive is going to make a big difference on those small, you know, areas of the overall performance. Boy, what? Okay, so I'm gonna get out of uh, Battlefield uh, 5. I can tell that the graphics are acceptable, they're reasonable. I'm gonna leave Battlefield alone. I think that the optimization settings is good. It did its thing. Look, it loaded pretty quickly. It got out of the game really quickly. Uh, it loaded the game really quickly. Battlefield 5 checked out with the optimization setting. But let's go back to the options really quick. And so we can see here that uh, the anti-analyzing post-processing is high. 
the effects quality is high. Most of them is on high. So it's really up to you. There's texture quality on high. Texture filtering is on high. The only thing that I would recommend you do at this point, which is again, up to you. I will leave it as is if you're happy with the performance. But the only small change that I will probably do is bring them down to medium to increase the performance just a little bit, to smooth it out just a little bit, and more so if you have a mechanical drive than if you have an SSD. That's what I would recommend for what I saw perform like and what I'm seeing the settings are like. And to do that, you'll see this little gear tool thing next to the revert option. Go ahead and hit that. And then uh, we can go from, let's say, 1920, 1080, leave that alone. Full screen, leave that alone. It's on optimal right now. You want to bring it down a bit to right here, right? Where it's on medium right now. I can see that and then apply that, basically. Everything else stays the same. Now it's just a little bit more custom to you versus automatically optimized by NVIDIA. Let's go ahead and load up... Uh, this game right here, the uh, Insurgency Sandstorm, go ahead and open Steam right now, like that, play, and let's see how this one performs and what recommendation we can make. I know this one by my experience, when I had it on SSD, it ran really well, um, but you know, let's see how it does on the mechanical drive side of things and what optimization changes we can make to, uh, to improve it a bit, to smooth it out a bit, and you get the best uh, gameplay out of it. Something too to keep in mind, uh, guys, and I'll throw some things at you while I'm loading the games and in between so that you know I can give you as much value. I'm gonna make another video on upgrading your Dell 15 7000 gaming laptop. What kind of memory, what are the SSDs that it supports, uh, you know, the kind of memory, uh, that sort of thing, so that you can upgrade some of the hardware if you want to do that. Let's go ahead and deploy. This game looks like it's running really smoothly too. Look at this. It's good. This one checked out as well. I don't know what the heck is going on with my internet connection, but somebody somewhere is downloading something, but I mean, I should not be getting, well, right now on this one, I have 40, so that's not bad. All right, so we have a full server, right? Game loaded really quickly. Graphics look decent. Uh, and we didn't check before I loaded where was that currently. We'll check into that when I get out of the game, but let's go ahead and do a quick little gameplay here. This thing is smooth. I can already tell you. It's running, running really good. Really good, actually. Boy, you better hide. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Oh my God, hide, 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 hide. <laughs> Where are you? Oh man, this, this mouse is so smooth. This one also checked out, I'll tell you right now, you can even see it for yourself, that it's running really smoothly. We got some decent graphics. I uh, do not believe we compromised much when we optimized it. We're gonna take a look at that in just a moment here. The enemy is somewhere around here. Where are you, boy? Where are you? Hey, hey, sorry about that, bud. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Where are you? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. All right, we're not gonna play much on this. We wanna go into the next one. This one checked out. Play really smoothly, opened, loaded, and closed pretty fast. It's very consistent as expected. Based on how we perform and based on the current setting, I would probably recommend to bring everything to a medium, just like Battlefield 5, where you can balance everything out instead of having some too low, some too high. I would just bring that up just a little bit, just one. Bring it up once, right? And then hit apply. Let's go ahead and open 
break point right now. See how that performs. All right, so look at this. This one in particular, even though some of the graphics are on low settings, it doesn't look bad. It loaded pretty quickly. It connected really quickly. The game started really quickly, even on the mechanical drive. That's not bad. And on the overall graphics, when you look around, we're not compromising much. You better come get me. You better come for me, boy. We got this full of people. Shut up. Trying to, trying to test this thing. Got it. It's smooth. Gameplay is very smooth. I mean, for, for what we're getting. What, 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 what? Damn. Okay, good, good, good. Is this my buddy? What? Oh, wow. Dude, shut up. Overall, the graphics look decent. Look, the trees are moving. There's some effect there. The overall water looks good, right? You see that? A lot of times you, you don't even need to touch it because you don't see much of a difference. One thing by experience that I tell you, as long as you're pulling that 1920 resolution, the rest is going to be almost not noticeable. Unless, of course, you want to see the shadow next to every plan and, and all that. But look, even on this, look at the graphics of the shadow, the effects on that, not bad. Look at the rain effect, not bad. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be acceptable. All right. So that's enough gameplay. We can see that it's running okay. It's very smooth. Graphics look acceptable. It's very decent. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Quick to desktop. Got out really quickly. And uh, let's go ahead and see what the settings were on this. Um, there's a lot of off here. So let's go ahead and choose the little gear uh, tool here. The optimal is very close to performance rather than on Battlefield 5 was closer to quality. The only thing I would say here, which is not going to make much of a difference, is increase it just a bit. Just a bit, right? Just to get a little bit of better quality and apply that. That's, that's it, pretty much. Let's recap. Run the game. Get out. Hit optimize on the NVIDIA GeForce. And then run your game after it has been optimized. You're going to determine if it's slow, not smooth, and you have your, your optimized settings over here, lower just a bit, just one, right? You saw the bar, if I show you right here, right, you hit the little bar here, you have the option to go up or go down towards performance or towards quality. So the idea here is you notice, for example, with Battlefield 5, I lowered it just once, even though it ran smooth, there were small delays and hesitation on some areas, part of the game. So lowering just a bit, you're still going to get what you want out of it, but you're going to optimize it just a bit more so that it's smoother. Same idea where, for example, with um, Call of Duty or Breakpoint, where it's way too low towards performance, it's okay to increase it just one more, right? where you're not going to be compromising too much, your very last step would be to control it by manually making your change. And to do that is, you go inside the game, let me just give you one quick example, with one game, in my example here I'm gonna do, uh, let me go over to Sandstorm for example, just this one, right? Just to give you one, and then, because with the NVIDIA GeForce Experience, it's going to allow you to optimize it automatically, increase it, or lower it. And then small uh, control over the resolution and whatnot. You, you can't really change individual settings. The grass, the water, the effects, the shadow, the light. You need to do that in the game. So in that case, 
we need to overwrite the NVIDIA GeForce uh, settings and options, manually do so from the game, and don't even touch the NVIDIA uh, setting, basically. So at that point, I would recommend for that particular game to go into the settings of the game and then say, for example, okay, look, very high on texture quality, just an example. I'm gonna put that on high, not on very high. Very high, put it on high. Low, I'm gonna put it on medium. Very high, on high. Medium, keep it. Low, medium, because you wanna stay on medium or high. And so on and so on, hit apply. There you have it guys, this should be able to optimize your game, smooth your gameplay, be able to maximize your GPU on the uh, Dell 15 7000 gaming laptop, save you thousands of dollars, hundreds of dollars, then go with the new one, unless you're one of those that want the best detail, the best graphics, uh, and not concerned about price, then disregard this computer and go straight into the Dell uh, G7 uh, 17 model, for example, which is almost over a $2,000 uh, laptop. So look, load it pretty quickly, right? Just gonna do a quick little final while we're ending the game together. Looks good, looks good. Thanks for watching. Post any comments you have below the video. What are you running into? I can give you a little bit more specific. Hopefully everything that I showed you will give you the answers you need for you to go on and do it on your own. And so subscribe if you have not. Uh, thanks for watching and as always I look forward to another gaming video.